Stasa23 here, and today's Night Therapy, I have two Best Tech Knives for you. Um, one of them was sent to me by Mr. Neves Knives, so Jared had it before me. Um, this one right here is the Best Tech Fairchild. I reviewed this one recently, and uh, it's an absolute banger. This is a sweet, sweet knife, Kombu Design, one of their in-house designers. And yeah, I love it. It's a behemoth though. Absolute behemoth. Uh, very cool knife. Like I said, if you hadn't seen this review, go check it out. But we have two more Best Tech knives and we have another Kombu knife. So first up, this is one that sent, Jared sent to me. This is the Buwaya. Yeah, this is uh, a very, very techno-y. Um, you know, Kombu has a very strong design language and you can see how much smaller the Buwaya is compared to the Best Tech Fairchild. Um, now, right off the bat, the, the knife has an unbelievable amount of milling on it. I mean, look at the lip. There's a transition lip from this flat right here. Love this grind, how they did this. You have a lip here. You can actually feel that lip all the way down to the tip. There you go. You can see it there. For me, right off the back, I can tell you this knife is hot spot city for me in my hands. Just because I have sensory problems in my hands from my accident. So <laughs> I can tell you right now, the, the wide cut, anytime this jumping, wide cut jumping like that always kills my hands. Uh at least they rounded over those corners so it's not super super sharp um, now this is just a first impressions and then you have tons of milling on the handle almost looks like a leaf right here and you can feel these it's not sharp but uh, you can definitely feel it I like how they left the blade sterile nothing on the blade at all besides the blasted finish and then they put the blade steel designation right here which is bowler m390 and i like how they put the best tech logo and the kombu logo on the lock relief cut out right there very very cool hopefully that is coming across it is a little dark because of the blasting and you have a less than lethal, less than lethal lanyard hole back here a little pommel that goes that's integrated into the titanium backspacer good action you can use that fuller to, to flick it out you can reverse flick it with the back side of that fuller flip it flip it real good yeah I even like the how they how they milled this little spot around this pivot very cool looking like I said the amount of milling that had to have went into this, because you even have internal milling. I don't know if you can see that. Let me grab my flashlight. You even have internal milling in there on top of all the top milling on both sides. That is incredible. Best Egg does some amazing work. They have uh, some, some extreme machine ability. <laughs> uh... The overall design, like just the uh, the outline of the knife, I love this handle. You know, if it would be a contoured handle, would be probably the most ergonomic knife. It's it's just perfect for my hand. And then the way your 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 wrist kind of tilts forward is going to push that point down whenever you're you know whenever you're going to cut into something so you're going to hit it and you'll be pulling in so it's going to be a great slicer as far as like that slicing type movement uh controlled slicing should i say because that's what a belly's good for is say when you're getting into there if it's a straight edge and you're cutting and you're twisting your wrist like that you're gonna you're gonna constantly be having the same amount of pressure into whatever you're cutting that belly is going to kind of curve it so you can gently you know, that's why, you know, a lot of skinning knives, you see the deep belly on a skinning knife. Lock up. So, I don't know if I'm going to do a, uh, a full testing and review of the Buwaya. 
Um, I may do an overview if y'all would like to see me do a more in-depth overview after I've carried it for a little bit. Um, and then after that, I got to send it on its way to the next person. This is a like a semi-pass around knife here. Uh, the next one. Next one's one that I purchased. And I'm pretty excited about it because I, I got it on a, a pass around list for it. And that is the Best Tech Tonic. Now this is a design collaboration, not with Kombu. This is a design collaboration with Mr. CM Designs. Um, I like a lot of his stuff. Uh, let's see, this is the only one I had close to me. The Kubi, I think this is a Royal. Another CM Designs. And it, it has, it has a, a a lot of that same design language as the Royal, as far as the blade shape goes. Um, I gotta say, I like this so far. I mean, I just got it a couple of days ago, and so far I'm loving it. <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure because it is a backlock. Now it's it's a backlock that's different from any other backlock I've ever owned. I'm gonna have to take this apart because, as you can see. I don't see uh, a traditional spring like you would on, say, um, like a Spyderco back lock or a triad lock where you see that little leaf spring. It, it almost looks like this whole thing is the spring, and then this is on top of it. I'm not sure. But this is riding on bearings, and you can... The only thing is it's kind of hard to get over the hump. You can do it one-handed, and if I hit it right, I can flick it out. And that'll probably get smoother over time. Uh, very, very smooth. Though once you break that tension, it's very smooth. But watch, watch, watch this. Whenever that spring kind of sucks it in, <laughs> it's got it's got a good bit of spring tension to it. Once it goes past a certain spot, you have for some reason I'm, I'm guessing it's the way the tangs ground. But like right here, you got like a I don't know, it's like a, a lip you're going over that you can feel, but listen to the lockup. Nice, solid lockup there. Absolutely no play, any direction. You know, a lot of like regular back locks, you can flex some up and down play just because of how the spring is. Um, not this one. I went with the uh, blasted stone wash finish because the other one, all the other ones besides the, I think there was an all black one, I think. They were a satin finish, and I'm just not the biggest satin finish fan. You can choke up on this one. Now, this is a thin, a thin scaled knife. Uh, let me see if I have. What do I have right here? Here it is next to the Ontario Rat Model Two, which is also a thin scaled knife. So it's about the same. Actually, no. It's it's it looks like it's a little thinner than the Ontario Rat Model Two. So. It's, it's, it's going to be a great EDC size for a lot of people. Uh, very lightweight, comfortable so far in the hand. I love the materials. Now, this is a premium knife, Best Tech, one of Best Tech's premium knives, so it wasn't cheap. Uh, it's in M390. I love the fact that it's a thumb stud deployer, mill titanium pocket clip. Love the bolster. I think think I went I think this is the green micarta yeah because whatever color was that uh, had the blasted finish that's what color this is I think it's green let me see if it's on the box comes with the regular box and your pouch and your your warranty information stuff so I'll definitely be doing a full review of the tonic um, Definitely love to hear y'all thoughts on this. Like I said, it's not a cheap knife. I don't remember exactly what I paid, but I know it was, it was I think, maybe 300 bucks. Um, and I can't say right now if I think it's worth it because I have not carried it enough and tested it enough to know that. And uh, let me know if y'all want to see a, uh overview video of the Buaya Kombu Design. And if y'all really want to see me do a full review and testing, if enough of y'all ask, then I may do that as well. Uh, not sure. It looks like it looks like it's been used already. I can see the the smudging. So yeah, 
All right, guys and girls, my legs are hurting really bad. I'm going soak in a tub. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.